okay so in the last video we implemented the login form and the login handler so that we can log in our user into our application but in this video we need to um, implement the opposite of the login which is the logout feature so first what we need to do is create a route for the logout so we're going to do route okay I'll just um, rectify that route get and um, URL of logout and we're going to name that route as um, logout and it's going to use the auth controller and the action of logout so auth controller and action logout okay so um, let me just put a semicolon here so let's go to our auth controller and um, implement that function there so the function is going to be called logout and it's not going to accept any parameters and um, inside there we're just going to call the um, logout function on the odd class which is provided by laravel so once the user is logged out we're going to redirect them back to the login form so return redirect which is the helper class provided by laravel and um, route which route do we want to go back to after um, redirection um, and the route is called login which shows us the login form all right so next what we're going to do is um, since we created this route um, to be able to access that we need to type in logout in the URL but um, that is very tedious so let's go to our master um, dot play dot PHP here let's put in some links at the top there so that we can access those um, URLs easily so in here we're going to create a URL tag there with a class of um, bootstrap class of nav and nav pills so um let's say nav nav pills and um, in there let's just say if the user is logged in so there is a way to check if someone is logged in so we're going to do if odd check uh, provided by laravel uh, let's just do a, a colon here so if that user is logged in what we want to do is create an li tag and um, give it well actually that's all we need just the li tag and we want to link to the logout route so remember if the user is logged in we only show the logout route if they are not logged in we show in the login route all right so laravel also provides um link to route um actually it's not laravel i believe it's the um the laravel collection um composer package which we added at the beginning of the tutorial um i think that's what adds this um helper there but regardless um it's available in our application and we want to um, link to the logout route which was created here initially remember we named it logout so we're going to link to that and um, what's the name or the t um, text that's displayed in the link is called logout okay so um, we're going to do an else here if that is not um, the case that is the user is not logged in um, let's just copy this quickly so we do not have to type it again i'll paste it here so that if the user is not logged in we're going to log logged in i'm um, sure that login url okay all right so we'll just close that at and if all right i'll save that so go back to my browser now just refresh this here as you can see we have a link to the logout um, url all right so when i click that we should be taken to the logout action and the session for this user is destroyed so I'll just click on that as you can see it um, destroyed the session and redirected us back to the login form so now if I try to access this home um, URL it should tell us that um, it should redirect us back to this user form here so as you can see home if I try to access that it takes us back here home and we are taken back here so that means we do not have access to the home URL if we are not logged in so let's just log in to verify that that's the case so lamin at laravel.com so I'll just type in lamin as the password and I'll submit and as you can see now we have access to this user um, home URL here okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video and I thank you for watching I will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye